chapter 7. Chapter 7 is the topic that we will learn how to sketch a graph using a first derivative and second derivative. Okay, let's see the second slide. Okay. First, you need to know that if y equal to fx is the first derivative which y respect to x means that dy per dx or f prime x. Okay. If dy per dx or f prime x is equal to 0 at the point of the curve means that the point is called critical point. It look like this one. F prime x is equal to 0 means that at the point it is a critical point. However, we don't know either it is critical point which is at the peak of maximum which the graph at maximum point or they are at the minimum point. Okay, and of course we know that f prime x or dy per dx when it is equal to zero is mean that the tangent of is a perpendicular. Okay, means that the tangent for that point is a perpendicular, which is either it is a maximum or minimum point we don't know for this case so to identify it either this point is a maximum or minimum we can use a second derivative we differentiate again which is if the value is less than zero so this critical point is a maximum point okay if we differentiate again and we can see that it is greater than zero, so this critical point is a mix is minimum point. Okay. Means that if less than zero, its value can be either negative one, negative two, and negative three. So in the form of this one. Okay. If they are greater than zero, for this case which is its value can be a positive, okay, like 1, 2, 3, and others. So it will become the minimum point at the peak. Let's say for the first example, find the turning point for the curve, which equation, they give you the equation like this one, hence determine the type of critical point, okay. First, we need to find the critical point and understand it. Is it the type is maximum or minimum? Okay. This is the first equation that we given to you. And what you will do first is you first differentiate. Okay. X power of 2 become 2x. Differentiate x, we become 1. Differentiate 6, we become zero and then you assume that dy per dx is equal to zero okay why we assume this one since we know that when dy per dx is equal to zero it can be a perpendicular which is mean that we want to find the point of x when it is at maximum or minimum point okay for this case, when we case we say that it's equal to zero, so mean that the tangent is perpendicular, and we can see that it's become two x plus one equal to zero, and I move one first to the left side, it's become two x equal to negative one, and when I move two, it will become like this one, which is x equal to negative one over two. So you get that this is a critical value, okay? This is a critical value. Okay. To make it a point which we need that x and y. So we substitute 
x equal to half, negative half, into the first equation, which is y equal to x square plus x plus 6. Okay? The first one. Okay? And then you will get the value of y, which is 23 over 4. Okay? You substitute this one as negative half and plus negative half. Okay? And then you use calculator and you will get this value. So this is the point of critical point. Okay? However, you don't know what is the characteristic of this point. Either it is in minimum or maximum point. So, you want to find that this is the first derivative. You differentiate again, which is 2x will become 2. And differentiate 1 will become 0. And you know that 2 is greater than 0. Hence, this point is a minimum point. Okay? Since it is greater than 0, so it is a minimum point. You can see the graph. Okay, if you sketch the graph in here, you can see that this is the graph for y equal to x square plus x plus 6. Okay, and the minimum point is here where the first derivative which is perpendicular which is dy per dx is equal to 0. Okay. The tangent, which is, the tangent is perpendicular. That going through of this point. Next. Suppose that you have this equation, which is you have that power of 3, y equal to power x power of 3 plus x power of 2, minus 1 and plus 5. Determine the type of critical point. First, what you will do, this is the equation that give to you and you will first differentiate it for the first derivative. x power of 3 become 3x power of 2. x square will become 2x. x differentiate will become negative 1. And 5 is a constant. If you differentiate it, will become 0. Okay. Next. You assume that the first derivative is equal to 0. Okay. After you assume that, so that means that 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is what 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And use your calculator to factorize this one. And for this case, I show you 3x minus 1 equal to 0. Move negative 1 to the left side, which is become 3x equal to 1. And x, when I move that 3 to the left side, it become x equal to 1 over 3. Okay. Similarly, for this case, okay, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Move 1 to the left side, it become x equal to negative 1. Okay. You get the you get two point which is x equal to negative one and the other is x equal to one over three. Okay, what will happen here? You want to find the point which is x and y. Okay, first using the first equation, this one, and then you substitute first for x equal to negative one into this one negative one negative 1 and negative 1 for this when x equal to negative 1 and you will get that 6 so the point is negative 1 6 okay this is the first point second you you substitute x equal to 1 over 3 into the first equation yeah that's mean that 1 over 3 1 over 3 and 1 over 3, which is 1 over 3 power of 3, 1 over 3 power of 2, negative 1 over 3 plus 5. And you get that this point, which is 130 divided by 27. So, this is what you get 
the first point and the second point. So you have two critical points. In this case, you have two critical points. So to find either this one is minimum or maximum or the same one, either it is maximum or minimum, you need to do a second derivative which is for 3x power of 2 and differentiate become 6x. Differentiate 2x will become 2 and differentiate 1 is the constant is become 0. Okay. And then you substitute this one value which is you know that it is x and y. Okay. The x is negative 1. Substitute into this one which is 6 multiple which negative 1. 6 multiple which negative 1 plus 2. And you will get that it's negative 4. Negative 4 is less than 0. So means that this one, negative 1, 6, is a maximum point. Okay. Similarly, for case of this point, which is 1 over 3 for x, and 130 over 27 for y, you substitute 1 over 3, 6, multiple 1 over 3, plus 2, from the second derivative, and you will get that it is equal to 4, which is 4 is greater than 0. So this point is a minimum point. Okay. If you can see that one, this is the graph for x power of 3 plus x power of 2 minus x plus 5. And then this is a point of the maximum point. This is the point for the minimum point. Okay, it is on the one graph, but I just separate it. You can just do that in the one graph. It is it's a maximum point and the other is this one, which is a minimum point. Okay. Let's say for the first example, given the demand function, given the demand function P, where p equal to 100 minus 2q, find the maximum total revenue and maximum profit for tc, which is total cost equal to 100 plus 4q. In this case, he want q to find what is the maximum total revenue and what is the maximum profit. Okay? I try to find the first which is maximum total revenue. How I want to find the first total revenue, you get the demand function, which is P equal to 100 minus 2Q. You know that total revenue formula is TR equal to PQ, P multiple with Q. This is P and this is Q. P is 100 and 100 minus 2Q. Multiple which Q? I multiple inside. Okay. I multiple. This one is become 100 Q. And negative 2 Q squared. And then I do a first derivative. Which is 100 Q. Differentiate become 100. 2 Q squared become 4 Q. Okay. And then I assume that it is, I assume that equal to 0. Okay, the first derivative is equal to 0. Since we want to find the maximum, okay, it should be on the graph, which is maximum at the peak. So the tangent is perpendicular when it is first derivative is equal to 0. So 100 minus 4q equal to 0. Okay. I just show you how to do this one. Okay. 100 minus 4Q equal to 0. 100. Okay. I move this one to the right side. It become 4Q. And then I move 4. It become 100 divided by 4 equal to Q. Okay. And Q equal to 25. Okay, you get the quantity which is equal to 25. Okay, and then I want to know that either this value 
for Q equal to 25, it is maximum or minimum value. So what I will do is I second derivative for this one, it will become 0. Okay, T squared TR divided by DQ squared. Okay, I differentiate again, it becomes 0. Differentiate this one, it becomes negative 4. Okay, the second derivative, I differentiate it become negative 4. So you know that this negative is less than 0. So it is a maximum point. Okay, so next, I just substitute, which is you know that TR equal to 100Q minus 2Q. And then I know that Q equal to 25. Okay, I just erase again. Q equal to 25. So I just substitute 125 minus 2, 25 squared. And I get that is 1, 2, 5, 0. Okay. 1, 2, 5, 0. And this one is a maximum total revenue. Okay. Because with second derivative, we know that it's a maximum point. So we know that the total revenue is a maximum. It's actually maximum total revenue. Next, it is like look like this one. If you sketch that 100 Q minus 2 Q, and you know that it is negative. If I arrange again, negative 2 Q squared plus 100 Q. Okay, it is negative, so it is look like this one. Okay. And the point is maximum for total revenue, okay, is 25 for Q. Okay, this one for Q. And this is our for total revenue, which is 1 to 5, 50. So we get that total revenue maximum is when the Q is 25 and its value become 1,250. Next. If we want to find the maximum profit, okay, first I find the formula equation for profit, TR minus TC, okay, 100Q minus 2Q squared minus, this one is the TC, this one is a TR, okay, TC is 100 plus 4Q, 100 plus 4Q, where I get this one? from the first equation which is tc equal to 104q okay 100 plus 4q okay i erase first and then i arrange again 100q minus 2q squared minus negative positive become minus 100 negative positive become negative 4q okay 100 minus 4 100q minus 4 which become i arrange first negative 9q negative 6 96q sorry positive is 100 is positive positive 6 96q minus 2q squared minus 100 this one 96 q minus 2 q squared minus 100 okay 100 minus negative 4 we get 96 q okay and then i differentiate okay i differentiate for the profit formula from profit equation which is 96 differentiate become 96, 96Q become 96, 2Q squared become 4Q, and 100 is constant which is to become 0. And then I assume that to get the peak, I assume that it is equal to 0, and 96 minus 4Q equal to 0. Okay, I show that this one, 96 minus 4Q equal to 0. I move this one to the left side, it becomes 96 equal to 4Q. Okay, 4 move to the left, become 96 divided by 4, and Q equal to 24. 
Okay, you get that. How you get that Q equal to 24. Next, I want to identify for either this point, this value Q equal to 24 is a maximum or minimum. So what I do, what I do is I second derivative, which is d squared pi over dq squared. I differentiate again. 96 is constant, so it becomes 0. And this one, I differentiate, it become negative 4. Okay, and you know that negative 4 is less than 0. So if they are less than 0, okay, differentiate become negative 4, which is less than 0. So it is mean that it's a maximum point. Okay. So to get the maximum profit, sorry, it should be d pi. Okay, not dtr d pi equal to negative 4. So to get the maximum profit, you just substitute, which is the profit formula is 96q minus 2q squared minus 100. So I just substitute 24 and 24 and you get that it's become 1052. Okay. I just substitute this one, we get that Q is equal to 24. I substitute into this Q and also for this Q. Okay. Which means that it is 24 and 24 and you get that 1, 2, 5. 1, 2. 1, 0, 2, 5. 1, 0, 2, 5. 1, 0, 5, 2, sorry. 1, 0, 5, 2. Okay. Okay. The maximum profit you get is 1052. And before this, you find that maximum total revenue is 1250. And maximum, okay, this is just the conclusion that I say that the conclusion, which is the final answer is maximum total revenue is 1250. But the maximum profit is 1052. Okay, if I sketch a graph, this is a graph for the TR, okay, before, and this is the total cost graph, okay, and if you can see this one, the maximum total revenue is at this, this point, okay, when the Q is 25, but if you want to find the profit, the profit is how long the range between the total cost which is the total revenue which is the space how long the space is okay so if you can see this one when q is equal to 34 it gives more space when it is 25 because the space is 1052 but on 25 it become 1050 so the largest space is when it is q equal to 24 that is maximum profit. But the maximum total revenue is at this point. Okay. 